Welcome to Chapter 2 of our story, where the boundaries between reality and dreams blur in the mysterious underground. Here, shadows dance along the walls, and the air is thick with the scent of damp earth and whispers of forgotten nightmares. Join us as we follow Alara and her mentor, Keiru, on a journey through this enigmatic realm. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the heart of the underground, where dreams and nightmares intertwine. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more captivating tales. In the dimly lit corners of the underground, Elara stood at the threshold of her fears. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth and the whispers of forgotten nightmares. Shadows danced along the walls, flickering like the remnants of dreams that had long since faded into obscurity. Beside her, Keiru, her mentor, moved with a presence that was a steady anchor amidst the swirling chaos of her thoughts. The underground was a realm where the boundaries between reality and dreams blurred, a place where the echoes of despair reverberated through the very fabric of existence. Keiru's voice, low and resonant, broke the silence. Every nightmare holds a lesson, Elara. You must learn to navigate through them, to understand their essence. Only then can you reclaim the purity of your dreams. His words hung in the air, heavy with the weight of experience. Elara nodded, her heart racing as she recalled the vivid nightmares that had haunted her since childhood, visions of her family's legacy twisted into grotesque forms, shadows of her siblings overshadowing her every step. As Elara and Keiru ventured deeper into the underground, Elara felt the pulse of the place, a rhythmic thrum that resonated with her own heartbeat. Each step echoed with the stories of those who had come before her, dreamers who had succumbed to the allure of the nightmare syndicate. The walls seemed to whisper secrets, tales of ambition and despair, of dreams sold and souls lost. What if I cannot face them? Elara's voice trembled, a fragile thread woven into the tapestry of her insecurities. Keiru paused, turning to her with a gaze that pierced through her doubts. You are stronger than you believe, Elara. The nightmares are not your enemies, they are reflections of your fears. Embrace them, and you will find your power. With each passing moment, Elara felt the weight of her past pressing down on her, the shadows of her family's expectations looming larger. Yet, amidst the darkness, a flicker of determination ignited within her. She would not allow the nightmare syndicate to exploit the vulnerable any longer. The urgency of their mission surged through her veins, propelling her forward. As they approached a chamber filled with the remnants of shattered dreams, Alara's resolve solidified. She could sense the presence of the syndicate lurking in the shadows, their intentions as murky as the depths of the underground. The air crackled with tension, a palpable reminder of the battle that lay ahead. Keira gestured towards the swirling mists that enveloped the chamber. This is where the nightmares converge. You must learn to weave through them, to extract the truth hidden within. Only then can you confront the syndicate and reclaim what is rightfully yours. Elara inhaled deeply, the cool air filling her lungs with a sense of purpose. She stepped forward, her heart pounding in rhythm with the echoes of the past. The shadows beckoned, and with each step, she felt the weight of her family's legacy transform into a source of strength. The journey ahead would be fraught with challenges, but Alara was ready to confront her nightmares, to reclaim the purity of dreams, and to stand against the encroaching darkness of the nightmare syndicate.